Ever sleep for eight hours and still wake up feeling like you got hit by a truck? Yep, you're not alone. Tons of people think they're getting enough sleep, but still wake up exhausted, foggy-headed, and moody. Weird, right? But here's the thing. Sleep duration is just a tiny part of the whole sleep quality puzzle. Let's kick things off with sleep position. Most folks think as long as you're asleep, it doesn't matter how you lie down. But nope, your sleep position can make or break your rest. Sleeping on your back might seem relaxing, but if you snore or have sleep apnea, it could be the worst option. Now here's something wild. Sleeping on your wired left side is actually the best. Why? Because it helps digestion, improves blood flow, and even eases pressure on your heart. Don't believe it? A study from the Journal of Clinical Gastroenterology showed that left side sleeping speeds up the body's waste clearing system. Yeah, seriously. Next up, your body's internal clock, aka your circadian rhythm. Our bodies are built to start winding down around 10 p.m., but who actually sleeps at 10 these days? Most of us are still watching YouTube or scrolling TikTok. Problem is, late sleep messes with hormones like melatonin and cortisol. And when those are out of whack, you feel tired, gain weight more easily, and your mood tanks. Let's talk about room temperature. Most people underestimate this, but your body needs a cooler environment to hit deep sleep mode. The ideal range? 64 to 72 degrees, 18 to 22 degrees, too hot, and your body struggles to reach that sweet spot of restful sleep. So if you keep waking up for no reason, check your thermostat. Now, on to those little bedtime habits that sneak in and ruin your night. Like scrolling your phone in bed. Just a few minutes, right? But blue light from your screen actually blocks melatonin, the hormone that makes you sleepy. So now your brain thinks it's still daytime. No wonder you're tossing and turning. And caffeine. Yeah, even your 4 p.m. coffee can mess with your night. Caffeine stays in your system for up to six hours. So that iced latte? It could be the reason you're wide awake at midnight. Let's not forget sound. Total silence isn't always ideal. White noise, like a fan, rain sounds, or soft, ambient hums, can actually help your brain chill out by covering up random background noise. Finally, make a bedtime ritual. Nothing complicated, just something to tell your brain, hey, it's wind down time. Read a book, drink some herbal tea, stretch lightly, or meditate for a few minutes. Over time, your body will learn to associate that habit with deep rest. Bottom line, good sleep isn't about just clocking hours. It's about sinking your body, your habits, and your space into a restful routine. Once everything clicks, you'll start waking up energized, clear-headed, and ready to take on the day. So... Ready to sleep like a pro tonight? Like, subscribe, and share if you're ready to finally sleep right.